Morning all, another day, another ice cream, although it's not really a bright, hot summer's day. Ice cream really isn't top of the agenda, I suppose, that's what I'm trying to say. But however, if I did wait for the summer days here in Ireland, I might never get any ice cream, so needs must. Well, welcome on board, everybody, and look at that. The ice cream gods are playing ball after all. The sun has just decided to come out. And that's fantastic news because it's just been the wettest July here in Ireland on record. Well, since records began. Uh, and consequently, most of the ice cream sellers just turned the machine off. So I've been, uh, well, I've been a bit stuck for ice creams. Uh, my waistline has benefit, definitely benefited from it. But uh, there's definitely been an ice cream drought. Just hold on, I'll close the visor in the hope that you can hear me even better now. But uh, I've even donned the sunglasses. I think it's the first time I've done that for the last uh, six weeks on a motorbike. <laughs> um, but anyway, this is good news. It bodes well. I think ice cream always tastes better anyway in the sun. Um, I hope you've seen the previous episodes I've done of the motorcycle ice cream challenge. Um, all I know today is that I'm heading to a town called Coot Hill. Um, as I said at the beginning of the series, I really do need to keep all of this within uh, the county of Cavan, which is the county I live in, uh, just to deem it a sort of fair competition. I am, in case you're new to this little strand, I am judging, well, hopefully, if the summer lasts long enough, I'll judge 10 different uh, ice cream vendors in the county of Cavan. Then at the, um, at the end, I'm gonna judge, well, I am judging them at the end of every uh, program that I do, or video rather that I do and uh, there'll be an overall winner at the end and then I'll revisit the shop with a certificate or something like that um, for those of you who've been following me for a while you'll you'll know that I am a cameraman on that uh, show over in England come dine with me so that's where the uh, the idea comes from especially for the scoring however rest assured I won't be passing over a thousand pound in prize money at the end of it <laughs> fear not but uh, I'm just hoping that there is an ice cream seller in Coot Hill. I'm sure I remember um, in years gone by uh, driving through the main street up here and uh, seeing signs for ice creams. I mean, I think most towns have a sign for an ice cream now, don't they? Watch that. that this will be the only town where I ride to which doesn't sell ice creams anywhere. But like I said, the danger is people might have actually stopped. This seriously is the sunniest day we've had in a long long time and even then saying that look at the clouds um, they are big clouds so we'll get this little task done we'll get the ice cream put in to Dave <laughs> and then I'll rate rate the whole experience out of 10 and uh, sure we'll take it from there in the meantime I mean look at the beautiful scenery here I'm saying the scenery the <laughs> very much overhanging trees but uh, great roads around here um, I'm literally between the town of now I'm telling you this because I had a subscriber say recently why don't you tell us these roads that you're riding around on now I suppose I do take it for granted because it's very foolish of me to think that every time I come out just for a sort of spin just to talk about stuff rather than doing reviews or you know trips away or anything I just take it for granted that most of you know at this stage uh, I'm in the county of Cavan somewhere in or around Baileybra, Shercock, Kings Court somewhere like that that's where most of these roads are and indeed that's uh, where this road is that I'm on at the moment brilliant roads though just got to be careful for the the tractors nevertheless you still can't help winding up when you see an open road in front of you um, <laughs> clearly I'm on the uh, the BMW the R1200 GS today triple black or my black beauty as I call it I just love this bike it's been a while since I've ridden it um, she's been on a trickle charge has our only bikes just to keep them tip-top for moments like this where I take the urge and just want to get out um, the last time I rode this bike actually was uh, when I did the Jigsaw uh, charity bike ride around Ireland. If you haven't seen those videos, just check them out. They, uh, they've had a, a huge audience and uh, we raised, uh, myself and the other riders, seven of us I think in total, 
um, we raised 30,000 euro for the Jigsaw Children's Mental Health Charity. Isn't that just wonderful? Anyway, all bodes well when the sun is shining and uh, sure it's enough to, to put a smile on anybody's face, isn't it? I love the roads here. I know I keep saying that, but this bike is due a service very soon, but uh, I'm going to see, well, I'm, I've been invited to the unveiling of the new R1300 GS. Um, so I'll be going on this and to see what sort of um, trade-in or deal I can get against that. I did try and sell this privately, uh, absolute time wasters. So I'll just trade it in <laughs> and say, save myself the stress and the bother and rearranging times and weekends when people say they're going to come up and all that crack, you know. Um, anyway, uh, so I'll just do it a do it, do a plain old trade in. I'll lose a few quid, but sure. I hope you're enjoying these roads. Tell you what, I'll be ready for a. A nice cold uh, drink rather than an ice cream after uh, riding these roads. I did check the uh, the old tyre pressures before I left this morning. So 2.4 on the front and 3. Uh, I'm talking in bar, by the way, <laughs> not PSI. <laughs> and 3 on the rear, so that's about right. Uh, I did have to top them up because uh, they reduced quite a lot. I find that um, when it's hot, the tyre pressures go down. Uh, hotter weather, I mean. And colder weather, uh, tyre pressures increase a little bit. And I hope that's the correct way. So we're nearly there in the town of Coot Hill. I think uh, I'll save the battery and I'll switch back on when we hit the town. But uh, all I can say is that I'm really excited now for an ice cream. It's been too long. It's been a good few weeks. And here we are. Just approaching the town of Coot Hill. When we turn left here, you'll see the uh, the beautiful big wide main street. I love this, you know. Well, one of the many things I love about Ireland. I just think of, well, it, it instantly transports me to like a hundred years ago, you know. And I imagine what it must have been like for horse and carts and market stalls and all that sort of crack, you know, just on the big wide streets here. Um, I have seen old photographs and they're just amazing, you know. Uh, so anyway, eyes peeled, looking for ice cream signs. But this person across the zebra cross crossing does give me an extra few seconds to look for ice cream signs. Can't see any. Oh, no. Um, please let me be in luck. It, it has been a while since I've had an ice cream, like I say, because of the weather. Oh, we might not be in luck here, folks. I thought Super Value might have had one outside. There's a shop back there I was sure had one outside. This is good that there's traffic in front of me and it, it allows me to scope the street a little bit better. Well, we're nearly out of luck at you. Um, okay, this isn't... I don't believe it. Quick left turn in here. Check nobody's behind me. Would you look at that? Well, just the just when I thought this video was all but over, look what I came across. All right, time to switch the bike off and uh, get in there whilst the going's good. Hopefully, the ice cream machine will be working. And of course, it's not a 99 without a flake. Not a 99 without a flake. And that's mine. That's all for you. No, I'm very excited already. Now, right. the lovely lady here <laughs> said she didn't want her face on, which is absolutely fair enough. So unfortunately, you're going to have my face eating the ice cream. I'd best get outside because I'm causing a bit of a queue. Right, here goes. Oh my God. That is delicious ice cream. Now, I had to wait five minutes because of the time of year. They're just not selling too many ice creams, so the machine had to, well, I was going to say warm up, but I suppose the machine had to cool down. 
but it's worth waiting for. That's fabulous ice cream now. I always feel a bit odd standing outside of an ice cream shop talking to camera, but hey ho, I, I chose this gig. Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> Gonna eat the flake now. As you know, I judge the ice cream predominantly on the flavour of the ice cream, then the size of it. I mean, that is a bloody big ice cream and only three euro as well. The flake is lovely. Um, it hasn't been sat in a box for a while, you know, that way. So, where am I? I'm at MJ's Mini Market on the main street here in Coot Hill. Super impressed with this beautiful ice cream. Okay, time to um, judge this. Time to rate it. First of all, I'm going to have to finish the entire ice cream because I also um, judge it on the quality of the cone as well. So give me a few minutes and I shall be back to you with the score. And just like that, it's all gone. That was a really, really good ice cream. Not the best I've had so far. So it's still going to rate highly though and the cone was superb. Um, the quality of the ice cream, the flavour of the ice cream, this is what it comes down to and this is why I'm scoring it when I'm going to score it. So I am going to score MJ's Mini Market for their 99 ice cream here in Coot Hill. A very respectable 7 out of 10. So there you have it folks. That was a very, very nice ice cream. And uh, a good score for MJ's of Coot Hill. I hope you enjoyed that little episode. Um, I don't want to go home to be honest. It's a it's turned out to be a really nice day, so I might just go for a little spin instead. Uh, and hey ho, who knows? Could be another ice cream in store. <laughs> I'll, ar I'll arrive home with a different suspension setting on the BMW. <laughs> anyway, you know the crack. Thanks a million for tuning in. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Um, I know you didn't get to sample the ice cream, but why not treat yourself? After all, it is the weekend. Go on, get yourself out and get an ice cream. Thanks a million for tuning in. Have a great weekend, everybody. Be good, ride safe, and all the rest of us. See you um, next Saturday morning, 8 o'clock on YouTube. Dave Perry, really good TV.